This is Movie of the Week. The series where I give you a new movie to check out every single week. If you've seen it, rewatch it. If you haven't, check it out. This week's Movie of the Week is The Lost City. And yeah, Channing Tatum, you really gotta pay Will Smith a visit to learn how to deliver a slap. This movie really gives off Alvin and the Chipmunk Chipwreck vibes and the plot of this movie is that an author gets kidnapped by a millionaire because he is after a jewel which uh, coincidentally is also a jewel that she writes about in her book and because she's able to translate some ancient language the, m the millionaire kidnapped her to help him find the jewel and the cover the cover actor model for her book is in love with her so he comes to save her. And goddamn, this movie was absolutely hilarious. And firstly, it's really hilarious to see Harry Potter himself, Daniel Radcliffe, be a villain in this movie. And I mean, the beard he has really sells it. And he's an amazing actor and really pulls it off well. But like, it's still really funny to see him play a villain. This movie is an absolutely hilarious action adventure. You love it. Channing Tatum kills it. Sandra Bullock kills it. Brad Pitt kills it. Their chemistry is amazing. They make this movie absolutely hilarious and a fun movie to watch. It's honestly just really funny. If you like action movies and if you like comedy movies, you will love this movie! Honestly, one thing you will absolutely love in this movie is the characters, designs, relationships with one another, the writing behind them, their personalities. You will just absolutely love each and every single character, even the villain. This movie is perfect if you want to have a great time, go on a date, watch a movie with your friends, just hit theaters, check this out, laugh your asses off. I mean, there are a few scenes where you go like, eh, that doesn't really make sense, but like you tend to ignore it because you're constantly laughing in this movie because they keep bringing joke after joke and like you really love how they keep bringing up lines that were mentioned previously in the movie, lines that were mentioned like moments ago by the other characters and bring it back up sarcastically and whatnot. Overall though, this is a really fun film to watch. I rated it a 70% and y'all should totally check it out.